Hey, welcome back. In the next video in this Workers AI Image Playground series, we're gonna look at how we can integrate more AI models from the Workers AI catalog, and also start to introduce some parameters that allow us to customize how our model generates images. So in the last video, we looked at how to generate things using the Flux Schnell model. We made some really awesome images, and now we're looking at the next version of this Workers AI Image Generator. You can see there's actually a selection of different models here, and what we're going to do is integrate with the Cloudflare API to get any parameters for any model, and so we can sort of conditionally render out a form here that allows us to customize how things are generated. As always, the source for this project is available on GitHub. I'll put a link to it down in the description, and let me know in the comments if you're gonna build anything cool with these workers' AI text-to-image models. Let's get started. So looking at the source here, we've changed the way that we render things slightly. It's still using Next.js, but it has some additional schema properties, schema, a model type, all sorts of different things going on here. And specifically, what we're going to do now is introduce a new fetch call to API slash models, which is going to get a list back of the models that we support. We're also going to set up this endpoint called API slash schema which takes a model in as a query parameter. And then what it actually does here is go to the Cloudflare API documentation and get all of the information that we need in order to understand how we can generate new images using these text to image models. And then once we've done that, when we actually go to generate the image, all this code is basically exactly the same with the addition of some new input values that you'll see in a second are things like temperature and uh, negative prompts and all sorts of things depending on which each model supports. Now in our schema here, we have this additional route which is going to make a request to the Cloudflare API and get the schema for each model. Now we do this using the new Cloudflare TypeScript SDK which we announced earlier this year and all we need to do is pass in an API token and we'll be able to get the information from the schema. How do we actually generate a API token? Well, here in my Cloudflare dashboard, you can see on my account, I've gone down to this account API tokens and I'm gonna generate a new token here. I'll use the workers AI template and I just wanna make sure that it has the ability to do workers AI read and edit, which it does and I'll just generate a new token here. And you can see I get this token, which don't worry, I'll revoke later on, uh, but I can go ahead and copy this and put it inside of my environment variables. So I'm gonna say uh, a new file here called .dev.vars, and it's going to be Cloudflare API token, which is equal to this API token. So I did have to restart my server, but you can see here now I have these vars defined in .dev.vars. So now if I select one of these models, let's go with this Schnell one that I had set up uh, in the past video, you can see it actually automatically loads in the schema for the different sort of prompt parameters that are uh, expected for the Flux Schnell model and renders out a dynamic form based on that, which is actually pretty sweet. Uh, in this case, prompt is required and then the steps here is optional. And so I can't actually even generate the image because I haven't provided this required prompt. So I'll just say cool sci-fi art of a computer from the 70s. Let's do generate image. All this stuff is the same as our previous version of this code, but the addition here is that we're actually uh, able to conditionally get parameters and do things based on uh, what the different models support. So if I switch to say, for instance, uh, stable diffusion base, you can see I have all these additional parameters here. So things like prompt, negative prompt, height, width, uh, it can even do images, which I haven't actually tested, but I assume you could just paste in like some sort of base 64 um, stuff here. And there's just all sorts of parameters that can be supported. And so this AI image playground is a lot more powerful uh, than it was in the first video. So I hope you found this interesting and hopefully you find it useful. Like I said, the open source code is going to be in the description if you want to take this and go build cool stuff with it. Now, I mentioned in the last video, we're going to continually sort of iterate on this project. So this is phase two, supporting additional models. And in the third video, which we'll put up here in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to show you how to actually save these images using Cloudflare R2, and then go back and look at all of the images that you've generated and sort of have a catalog of all of your AI image generation. So make sure to subscribe to the Cloudflare developers channel. There's all sorts of awesome videos from different members of our team, and I hope you enjoyed this one and you're having fun creating AI images with the workers' AI models that we have in our catalog. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.